Hello, I'm Andrew Wilson. I work as a practicing osteopath and ergonomist, and I work closely with bureau seating to achieve chair design for your optimum well-being. While sitting in the chair, to raise the seat, lift the rear of the right hand paddle while supporting your weight on your feet. To lower the seat to the desired seat height, lift the rear of the right hand paddle keeping your weight on the seat. Aim to sit with your hips a little higher than your knees with a downward slope on your thighs. To adjust the seat depth, lift the front of the right hand paddle and slide the seat forwards or backwards to achieve the optimum leg support and sitting position. Note the seat slide does change the relationship with your backrest, so choose the position that feels comfortable and gives you good pelvic and lumbar support. To adjust the height of the lumbar support, slide the lumbar support up and down to the desired position using both hands. We recommend having support at the top of the pelvis to provide optimum posture for the pelvic and lumbar spine. To lock Lock the mechanism in the desired tilt position, lift up the left hand paddle. To release the tilt mechanism for free floating movement, push down the left hand paddle, then lean back in the chair to disengage the lock. We recommend having the tilt mechanism in the free floating position to give you opportunity to stretch your muscles and your back while maintaining optimum back support. To adjust the height of the arms, when sitting in the chair, lift up the armrest knob situated on the front of each arm. While engaging the armrest knob, raise or lower the arm to the desired height and release the armrest knob when you have that height. To adjust the depth, the armrest can be freely adjusted by sliding the pad forwards or backwards. To adjust the width, you can adjust the angle of the armrest from side to side. The armrest should give you good forearm support while you're relaxed and your arms are tucked into your body. It should never prevent you from sitting close enough to your desk to access your tools. If you have any further questions about the operation of your bureau chair, then please go to bureauseating.com for more information.